is this? Is this better? Oh, yes. Much better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not going to turn on the video. It'll just be audio recording, so that'll be no problem. I'm good with either way. Um, I have some people that don't want to go on video. They're not ready for their close-up yet. <laughs> well, I've been working in radio since 1977, yes. and I always said I'd rather be heard than seen. So, yeah. <laughs> especially now, it's like, oh, man, getting this age thing is not fun. I'm telling you, oh, I don't like this part. Me. I know, trust <laughs> I keep looking at the mirror going... I'm five years away from being 60. I'm just like, oh. what? I don't even feel it. I'm just like, mm-hmm. it's not possible. Yeah, I still feel yeah. 29, So, I, but I don't look 29, so. <laughs> I know, that's, that, that's the part. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm good with audio. <laughs> okay. And it is recorded, but of course I edit out, um, you know, whatever. I mean, because sometimes some stuff comes... Um, but um, when I do this, um, the free deal, though, it's like, you know, I put these up on my social media just to, you know, get um, awareness out there and readings. And it just really shows uh, other people that it's not like some, you know, witchcraft or voodoo or um, that there's a real strong faith background behind what we do. Right. Correct. Um, and so I and I get that from you. The all morning long, I have just been hearing Christian music. And, you know, not listening to a radio or anything. It's just going off in my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because that's the music that's been playing here this morning. I think. <laughs> ah, there you go. And I, you know, that's my favorite. I don't even. I can't even listen to uh-huh. rock and roll or anything anymore. It's, I mean, I love it still. You know, God bless them. You know, they were. A, a movement in itself and music is universal um but lately yeah christian music that's it you know hmm. because i'm just so faith driven right now i think that's what it is i'm faith driven i'm like you know like passionate faith driven like passionate <laughs> <laughs> and so when i get that music for you then i know that you have a you know very strong faith background um and so not not true. not not in christianity so no. much although that was what i was born into doesn't have to yes. be oh yeah, yeah. No. no it's you know yeah. faith is the word faith yes. is the word faith is the word <laughs> because it's like it doesn't matter what religion <laughs> right you right, know right. because trust me i i you know i no that's not even it's just faith faith your faith is a good foundation uh within yes. you it's your driving it's your driving force um, you know, it's like you, you just, you know, you don't go um, do things off the, you know, the fly. You just, uh, I mean, not that you're not adventurous, but when it comes to, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? When it comes to important things, um, you're very, um, you're, you're very psychic. You're very intuitive. Uh, I know you don't probably call yourself psychic, um, but you definitely are intuitive. Um, and, you know, and sometimes uh, it, it feels like though you feel like your intuitive can lead you down the wrong path. Um, you know, oh, uh, hang on, Mama. I'm on a reading. No, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, God bless her. Um, she has short term memory loss, so it's like a mm. but it's okay. I don't, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah. That's what mm-hmm. we go through, right? Like, we keep moving, mm-hmm. we keep going no matter what. Um, but anyway, so, um, and they uh, also showed me you jetting around. Are you uh, flying back and forth about to start a new uh, endeavor? Um, See. I, I, I need to go back to the states in a in about a month. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and then so, but is there also like a business um, a model or something, some kind of structure you're looking at? Um, to start? Wow. Uh, I no, I can't say there's anything new. Okay. So Not no, that I know. no right. new endeavors. All right. Um, well, there's been sh- a couple of thoughts. A couple of thoughts. But. Okay, all right. Well, that's what they're showing me. It's not. It's not your. Um, your. Uh, your fidgeting <laughs> was was another word that it kept coming to me. Your fidgeting, um, because it's like you have all these, uh, you know, uh, moving parts, right? All these moving parts that just have to come together, uh, you know. And it's like one idea. That's that's the spark, though, right? Um, and then it's just the, the follow through. You know how many? It's like I call it the Tesla energy. You know how many people receive the <laughs> Tesla energy uh, to do something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and few do. Few follow through. Uh, and you know, you know, God bless them. Whatever their journey is to make it come, whatever come about 
um, is their deal, not mine. Don't judge. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's crazy how that energy just goes around. And I mean, have you ever seen an invention like, you know, you're like, I thought of that. Why didn't I, you know, follow mm-hmm, through? Mm-hmm. That's the yeah. Tesla energy. Everybody's, you know, it's inventive, it's creative, it pushes you, uh, gives you ideas. Um, and then, you know, it's just what, what in your life allows it to follow through. So that's where they're showing me you're going. Um, and uh, so whatever ideas you've got coming to you right now, really take the action uh, to see what would happen uh, to get these moving parts all, uh, you know, mobilized <laughs> and, and see where it takes you. Um, because, again, it's just the follow through uh, that people are lacking on. And it's not our fault, I got to say. There's just so much other energy playing on us. Um, you know, like we'll get these great ideas and then get distracted and end up, you know, going to the far right or the, or the far <laughs> left of what we were thinking, um, because that's, uh, that's the play we're in. Um, and then, uh, of course I go in and I try to, the way I work is I, I work directly with the energy system, uh, right? So I go in and I start looking at your chakras. Um, and when I went in to try and look at your chakras, they were just like, you know, just hanging out. <laughs> just like you know you know so i know that you don't have like a relationship with them you don't like understand the whole energy point you're like what's the point you know it's because it's, it's for you it's more faith and physical um show me right um and so i don't get that you work with your chakras do you Can you verify <laughs> uh not in the way that other people do no. right right but- yeah. So they're just mm-hmm. hanging out. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's tentative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, a t- <laughs> it's one of those tentative relationships that uh, a lot of people fall into, though, because we're not taught from birth, you know, who we are and what we've got within us. And we're told, you know, we, we're made in the image of God. But what is that? Because we don't look alike and we certainly don't think alike. Um, but it's that spark, that energy within that's connected to the universal energies, Mother Earth, um, you know, and they see a lot of play, uh, you know, between us. That's the that's the Holy Trinity. Um, they that those those are polar, polarizing energies between Mother Earth and the Great Spirit, which is our faith. Um, I'm looking over here because they keep showing me now. Uh, is your scenery right now like uh, mountains and an ocean? Um, um, I don't see any ocean at the moment, but hills, yeah, I'm in the hills. Okay, because I, I feel like I could go to the go to the ocean, though it's not too far. No, um, it's not. If you went on the top of the hill, you would see the ocean. Okay. I'm just not where you can see it. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, your surroundings. Um, so, I mean, do you have, um, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're wanting to show me these um, ancient kind of energies. So are you um, uh, getting into the local culture? Um, what, what are you? Uh, what are you? Uh, what are you laughing for? <laughs> oh yes, I am in the midst of it. Ah, yes. I, okay. Um, now is this you know for pleasure or fun? I mean, uh, or business? Um, is it historic? Um, it's all of those things. Wow. All right. But, but for some reason, I feel like sharing this with you. You were talking about the chakras. I'm going to say that the the root chakra is extremely strong on this island. So um, I'm here. <clears throat> I'm here helping to lift that root chakra up a little farther is what I think. So as far as chakras go, oh, okay. the root chakra energy is like very, 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 very strong here. Right. So you feel rooted mm-hmm. in... in um where you're at you feel planted um so you feel very connected i'm sure you probably have past lives there um in those peoples not just you know uh the land i'm just looking now um so they're showing me one particular person that keeps flashing um and he he looks native um he's only wearing loincloth he's got a uh, spear um He's got black hair. Of course, he's uh, tinted. Um, so, this is like a... Okay, so I don't know. 
the language, so I'm just asking for clarity. <laughs> um, because you keep flashing in front of me, so I'm like, all right, who are you? Uh, now, it could be representing the energy just of the land that you're connecting to. Um, or is there one certain person historically that you've been looking into? No one person specifically, no. Like not a, a leader or... Um, no. Okay. Well, then it's probably just the energy of the land. Um, but let me see where he wants to... Where are you going? Because, um, again, he keeps flashing. Like, he's not just standing here before me. Uh, he keeps, like, moving uh, to my left and to my right. Like, he's moving up towards me, but he's doing it very covertly. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he's, you know, he's he's uh, he's there. Um, interesting. So you keep talking. You, I mean, okay, chakras are my thing. But he keeps talking now, um, again, about that rooted uh, chakra energy. Uh, and I don't know if this is a location, but it looks like it's, you know, like midway up a mountain. Um, and it could just be the energy of the mountain. Well, now he's showing me like a darkness around it, like a, like a volcano underneath it. Um, so are you there uh, to not just clear yourself but also uh, to clear that, that path, that life that the land <laughs> it's like you're clearing whatever you're doing energetically clearing your energy um, is having an effect also on the well you know everything is energy and it's all connected so um, but historically healing uh is happening historic healing but it but there's but i just i don't i don't like the look of the dark uh energy around it but again that could be just the trials and tribulations that uh, everyone has gone through going through uh the rooted of it um so maybe they're just asking you now just to start clearing in out uh from even your own energy system um Whatever, and here again, um, going up into the uh, yellow um, chakra, they're showing me that you you understand what I'm saying. You're very intuitive and connected, um, even though you know you're like you're saying you don't practice uh, doing the chakras like we um, would want you to. <laughs> um, but you're you're very intuitive to it and, and connected to it. So, but at the same time, you're we're not amping up. Um, that that orange chakra, which is right above uh, the rooted chakra, which then gives us the the clarity and focus on direction. Um, because again, you know, as you're amping up that yellow uh, chakra and the red chakra, uh, it it needs that connection of of the um, orange as well. So I'm going to amp up this orange um, chakra and see what what. Uh, what direction? Because, again, the, the chakras for me is our key. It gives us focus and okay. clarity. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's... Mm -hmm. uh, and once we get those uh, going and, and working in that teamwork with us, it, it really gives us focus and direction on what we're doing, where we're going, where we're... Because um, that's our connection to God, right? Who guides us. Um, and so... <sighs> all right, so... Um, So, uh, okay, so there is a male energy in this uh, orange chakra here uh, as well, um, but it's not the same as what I'm seeing in that red. Um, uh oh, you need to move. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just heard someone say, not a good place to park there on the corner. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Thanks. Uh -huh. um, and that's funny, too, because this uh, <laughs> male energy, as I asked for clarity in that orange chakra. So um, are you, like, you're not in a relationship right now? 
several. <laughs> yes. Okay, but uh, lots of relationships in my life. Um, uh, specifically with a man. Uh, um. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it feels tentative uh, if it is there, but there is a, a male energy here um, that makes me feel like he wants to stand out. Um, you know, from the uh, because, but at the same time, it it doesn't feel like it's uh, sexual. It just feels like he's you know he wants to stand out right now. So let me see. Wants to stand what? He wants to stand out. He wants to. He wants to. He wants. Out. Me, yeah. He wants my attention. He wants to. Your, or your attention. <laughs> hmm. um, all right, hang on. So, just getting waves of this guy. So, um, but it feels like he's a. Does he drink? I don't know. He feels like he's wavy, like he's drinking. Uh, well, it depends on who we're talking about. Well, and again, it, it yeah, feels like right. someone that you're um, that's interested in you, but you know you've got your guard up. You've not you're not in a sexual relationship with them, but he wants to stand out right now. But um, you know, and if he feels like he's any kind of a um, alcoholic or you know, <laughs> which would be a reason mm-hmm. not to go there, right? Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, these are part of the distractions and things that. Um, you know, can get in our way because certain people are put in our path. But why won't he leave me alone? Does he? Do you have someone who's like not bothering, bullying, badgering, but <laughs> constantly there? Um, hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but like I said, there's more than one person. So, yeah. But I'll. I'm. I'm going to go with one person in particular. So, mm-hmm. but there's no badgering. Right. So maybe it's not that person. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Or whatever. whatever. Whatever this guy um, is, is you know, he just like wants to. He just wants my attention. It's not like, I, and I don't want to give it to him. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and so again, okay. I think that's just a warning of distraction. Of you know, you know, if it doesn't feel right, don't don't go over there. Trust mm-hmm. your trust that intu- intuition. Either that or um, we got a drunk spirit guide. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Or <laughs> some some guys are are fluid, <laughs> um, but anyway, I put, putting it in together um, with this uh, orange chakra, which is can be our sexual driving force, our you know um, things that are blocking us. You know, I, it may even be like a representation of the men that you've had in your past. Um, you know that that um, you know you got involved with, and then you know come to find out, you know they're this abusive alcoholic. Um, it doesn't, uh, and, and trust me, we're, um, we all get those, we all get those. Um, and if he's here, then that's just one of the things that have been blocking, um, you know, this orange chakra. Um, one of your weaknesses, as they say, um, with the people that you've chosen to be in relationships with. Um, and so I'm going to just going to go ahead and clear that up. Um, whenever we see anything like that, uh, you know, and we're not seeing, I'm not seeing like the full chakra yet. So, um, these are things that are in that energy that are blocking us up. And so we're just going to clear What we do is wrap it up and just pull it up out of there. Um, because we, we want to take away our weakness and that, um, we've been laid into, you know, because of whatever bull crap energy that's going on so we're going to remove that and that'll help clear up and give you more focus and clarity for a relationship um because again now i see the red uh energy going up into that orange and filling it up and just going to activate and start to get together all right um just looking over here because there's like this black hole (laughs) okay so now and again when i saw that black hole right now now it looked like whatever uh, was in your rooted chakra um you know like a volcano ring um um, not not active a non-active volcano with the ring of just what looks like you know the black abyss when you (laughs) you look down and that's what it's encircling um now it was encircling uh, your red and now your orange um, 
And I'm just going to remove again. What we want is good, healthy working chakras that, you know, we're working uh, together, amping uh, each other up. So I'm just clearing that, moving it up. And see. All right, so, and so you have a another funnel here that's a little more clearer and lit up for me now um, of that orange chakra and I feel like it's been like a driving force of yours just to be like you know headstrong uh, work go 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 um, you, fu you funneled everything into um, you know your career and uh, things that you needed to do and you're very focused and funneled uh, when it comes to that um, so a lot of meaningful things had not been able to happen. <laughs> I'm getting wind. Um, the breath, the prahana. Prahana, that's the word. Uh, is breath, right? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so I feel like now it's crowning up into your yellow. Um, and again, as we're filling these up, you'll start noticing, you know, more, um, you know, uh, clarity and focus on where to go uh, as your chakras are connecting up and getting a you know, working order. Um, and then, of course, uh, the first three chakras are uh, hold all of our physical things that are, you know, will either block us and things that we've accomplished and done and or or funnels and um, those are things related to all the physical things that we go through uh, on Mother Earth. Uh, so we amp those three chakras up, and then what we do is from the top of the yellow chakra, which is right at your hips, um, we just see all that coming up like a volcano now. And uh, all those colors, the red, the orange, the yellow, coming up together, and then bubbling up and over and uh, out like a volcano, going down your legs and, and taking it uh, through your feet and then into Mother Earth. And then wrapping her energy up with your energy as you go through Mother Earth. And then taking in all that grounding, uh, that connection with Mother Earth. And allowing that to give you all her unconditional love and forgiveness. And just build up of that uh, great love that she has for us. Um, and then wrap it all up and then bring it up back up through the earth. Back up through your feet. Back up through your legs. Your chakras. And then we're going to take it all up and bubble it up up into that heart chakra. And just burst it all up into that heart chakra, which is green in color. Now your um, connection from the physical into the spiritual is what just happened. So it's just filling up that green uh, heart chakra with all that loving energy. And again, I've just got waves of... Uh, Actually, did you lose a, a dog? Um, a, 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 I have a dog running around in here. <laughs> um, that uh, you um, connected with, it looks like, at a young age. So I don't know if this was a young loss or maybe one of your even first losses or experiences of a loss. Was it with a, a pet? One of your first experiences of loss? <laughs> um, yeah, the first loss. Was a was a chicken, not a dog. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably felt like a chicken, but he identified as a dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but in any case, it feels like your first loss with 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 a, a pet. Um, and so again, that you know sets the stages and stuff. And if we don't know how to handle that first loss, it just kind of hangs out in our heart chakra. Um, but let's go ahead and just, you know, we're whipping that up with everything in here that is uh, meant to um, help and assist you uh, and remove all the negative um, that has been, you know, holding it back. Um, all right, so, I mean, when I look around in your heart chakra, it's like that was the first loss, but then you've had a string of loss. Um because it's like they're showing me like in a string. It's like sometimes when I have family gather, uh, <laughs> they're just like all come in the room and they're all. But these are in a string of loss. So have you experienced a string of loss throughout your life? It's like the the pet was the first one, and then it's just like sometimes felt unsurmountable. Did things happen in threes? Um, we 
we've lost three people at once and yeah like, yeah i guess so but i don't think of it that way i don't think of it as a string of losses but mm-hmm. um that's how they're just mm-hmm. lining up for me mm-hmm. um, you know and again mm-hmm. it's like you categorize them all and put them all in a compartment um you know, and without really dealing with the loss of, you know, just categorizing it. Uh, but to, so you see that they go on, you know, that they go into, we all meet up again. They're not dead. They're not gone. Um, or do you feel like they're gone? Which one? Which um, one? No, they're still around. Yeah. All right. And that just might be why you've got them so... So, um, and again, file cabinets. I've got... So do you... <laughs> categorize your relationships and your love um, and, and put them in certain order for your life? No. Because no. Um, I feel like the, I've got files. I've got, I've got organization. I've got uh, standing in line. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So, I mean, it just seems very, it just seems very um, organized, I guess is the word. Um, and so, and it's not like you try to control your love or who you're in love with, but you, you're very compartmentalized on who you love and who you let in. And, um, you know, it's, it's, you put them in a, in, in a, or in a specific order for your life. Like it's not as a, like it's important, but it's not important. Um, because, you know, I don't know. That's just what it feels like. It just feels very organized. Um, and that lets me know that you, you feel very organized in your life. Um, you know, like you, you, uh, you do have, um, a file system (laughs) and, and everything is compartmentalized. And so when I see stuff like that and it's not again, you know, it's just that you've been, you're trying to, you're trying to rationalize, you try to, you know, put everything in its, in its, in its, in its place. I don't want to say box. Um, because again, I've got three different variations um, you know, it's not, you know, it just, it all has its, its order, uh, in how you deal with it. Um, you're very organized in your emotion, in other words. Uh, you know, and that can be a good thing and it can be also a stifling thing because I, now I feel like I've got, um, pain in my, uh, left, um, shoulder to my neck. Um, so I don't know if you're, um, you hold a lot of stress there, um, Oh, yes, that is the spot. You got it. Yeah, so that's because you're very, um, again, you're, um, and again, that's the left side. What is that? (laughs) Left brain. Left brain wants to control everything, put everything in its category, and have A through Z, um, just so. And then when things over here from the right side go, wait a minute. (laughs) Not everything is black and white. We can't. And we can't, and plus we can't rationalize this irrational world. This is an irrational world. Do you not agree? I mean, I feel like I am in living trials and tribulations. Um, You know, uh, the last days that they describe because it's just hell. It's been hell. (laughs) I quit trying to rationalize. I know now. (laughs) There's, there's no rationalizing what some people do um, because they're influenced. You know, that's why I don't give. I don't give a rat's ass what people think about me because I know they're influenced. Um, by the infiltrations um, and the yeah. forces. What you think about me is none of my business. Yes, you yeah. know, but at the same time, you hold it right there. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a burden on you. Um, and again, it's because it's an emotional tie, even though, because <sighs> you try to rationalize at the same time. You what? You try to make sense. You try to understand. <laughs> You try to understand why people do what they do, why they say what they say, why, you know, I mean, um, you probably hate that Trump's president because <laughs> there's no figuring that man out. <laughs> well, that's not true. I'm thrilled that he's president. <laughs> okay. But are, is it irritating, though, that is, you know, he doesn't, he's, he's, a, he's a businessman. He doesn't, he's not going to tell you everything. It may appear that he's lying. That's why people are like Trump derangement syndrome is real. Um, because it may appear that he's lying. He may appear he's not forthcoming because he he told you when he was running that I, I don't tell the enemy what I'm doing. You know, and if I tell you a play by play, guess what? They're going to know. You know, so a lot of people think he li- I mean, we've got I've got quotes every day on Twitter. Oh, the 9,000 billion lie that Trump said today. <laughs> it's just hysterical that people don't get it. 
<laughs> and then they try. Well, to, I'll, I'll just say this because other people are going to listen to it. No, I, I leaned a Democrat for years and years and years. And it's like when I woke up and found out that Hillary didn't win, I was so happy. Mm-hmm. It was like, thank you. There is hope. We, we did it. And it's like, and if somebody had told me five years ago I would be happy that Donald Trump was president, I would have said, you are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Trust me. But I'm yeah. telling everybody, I have talked with his advisors personally mm-hmm. over the years. Mm-hmm. I know who his pers- some of his personal advisors, and I know how they think, mm-hmm. and I am telling, whenever I people ask me, how could you I say he's not a politician. Right. Hello. Right. Exactly. He's not, he's not. a politician. That's what got him elected because he's not a politician. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I totally agree. And I and I love that he, that he won. People, I didn't vote for him because I've been protesting. The I Party did. System. I didn't vote either. I yeah. for the first time I did not vote. Well, I did but... vote. I've I've always exercised my right to vote, but I've not I've not or I've not uh, voted the two party system for the last twenty years. Um, but however, in 2020, I do plan on voting for Trump because <laughs> mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I've been listed as a Democrat, you know, for the last, you know, 30 some years, you know. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. I've been independent. However, I leaned. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> most people are trying to rationalize that because they've been lied yes. to so many times over and over right. and over again that they can't even face the reality of our physical world. You know, it's like, they, so they try to rationalize, and it really, uh, it does no good to try and rationalize, because it's Not up. this. Yeah. Well, not this. <laughs> no. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, really. I mean, the only rational thing that we can rationalize are, you know, what we end up, you know, taking responsibility. Did I do that? Oh, God, I did that. But why did I do that? Oh, crap, look at all that. You know, I mean, in, in any case, it can leave that um, that stagnation in in <laughs> He doesn't like me here either. <laughs> uh, what kind of corner are you on? <laughs> you know, if they can't see me, then they have a problem. That's all I'm going to say. Right. But, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Um, it must be in a blind spot for them coming around. Uh but anyway, uh, but anyway, uh, but that's that's what our um, our messed up, you know, the infiltrations have really caused things to be thrown off. And we're not taught from birth about our energy system and how it's connected and how we need to keep it clear and how we need to be able to stay clarity and focused uh, on our uh, spiritual and our physical. Because we are, you know, energetic beings having a physical experience. Um, and we forget that, you know, <laughs> we, we get so caught up in the crap. Um, but, uh, and I, and I don't want to keep you much longer cause I know that you're not, uh, in the best spot. <laughs> um, but so, but, um, anyway, these things that are clearing up, um, you know, will are healing while you're there. Uh, even though, yeah, you get that uh, little negative stuff though, but that's just, that's where you're at though right now. You're on an island, um, that has a lot of negative energy, um, around it. And so, um, because you're, you're connecting so historically, uh, with that, that place, that land, um, as you heal, uh, you're also going to heal those around you. Uh, you you heal your past, your present, and your future. Um, and I think your chakras, clearly we're talking about chakras a lot today, and that doesn't always happen. But, um, you know, as far as, you know, what's in it, where, where is, uh, what your root of it is, what the foundation for your faith is. Uh, but you know that uh, historically you're going to be able to, to, to heal and to clear that. Um, and it's going to happen for that, uh, the island as well. Um, you know, because it needs healing as well. I mean, I'm, I've got, you know, Moana going off in my head right now. You know, she have to heal the island. <laughs> Restore the heart of the island. <laughs> That's what has to happen uh, within all of us. We have to restore that heart. Um, because it, it's just, it's just you know, we can't be so... Um, uh, just focused on the emotion stuff and so categorized. Um, we have to realize it's all... It's all here, um, but we are not of this world, right? And so we're going to... Correct. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to just, you know, 
heal it. And then uh, now because our time is limited, um, not just, you know, on this call, but in general, uh, we're only here for so long. And we haven't got to the point of living forever yet. So. <laughs> Um, all that, all that fun stuff. Um, do you have any questions or anything? Um, yeah, you know, we were just talking about the island, and I've been connected here for twenty years, actually. Oh wow! And, and so, and over those twenty years, there have been so many times where would you please go away? Would you please leave me alone? Ah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And now you're there. Ah, that's interesting. No, I'm just saying. It's like no, it just. It's like oh, it's been very interesting, and so yes, you know it's a it's a it's a it's a magical place. It's full of medicinal plants that are amazing, mm-hmm. um, and the people are very loving. However, the the slave mentality is stronger here than. In a lot of places, which makes a lot of sense. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, but that's um, the oppression. That's the oppression that. Um, correct. And yeah, it's you know, again, it's not just on that little island. It's everywhere on this planet correct. right now. Uh, and so, yeah, we. Um, do you have any UFO sightings or anything like that that you've been experiencing? <laughs> No, you know, not really. No. no, what do you mean, not really? <laughs> yeah, I see things, but you know, I don't know whether there are or I have. I, I've never known what's what. Right. <laughs> I see things, but yeah. I don't know if it's ours or somebody else. <laughs> yeah, now I know. I trust me. I, I get you because you know they a lot of the stuff that's seen is ours. And people right. think it's UFOs, but they have no idea. Right. I mean, yeah. yeah I, I don't know why know. I asked you that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just got asked. Um, so I guess pay attention and really um, start to realize some of that stuff may not be ours. And even if it is ours, um, you know, take note. And uh, because people are going to be seeing a lot of stuff come up and they're going to be freaked out, think it's aliens. And then, it's, you know, Space Force uh, guys are going to step up. <laughs> Right, right. All right, so. All right, love. Well, any other questions or if we did not cover anything maybe you had concerns <sighs> of? I'm just thinking. I probably, nah, what would I like to ask? Um, I want to go back to something that you did mention, and so I want to go back there because mm-hmm. I keep questioning this, is that, there? yeah, there are people that do things that I just cannot fathom. Um, you talk about aliens. I tell people all the time, pretend I'm an alien from a different planet and I have never been here before and I do not understand why you would lie about that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I just do not understand why. Um, I'm just using that as an example. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or whatever it may be. And so p- perhaps you could give me some clarity on... How is it that people just can't be honest <laughs> about right. the littlest things? Right. No, I've trust me. In my in my uh, experiences, I've dealt with sociopaths, pathological liars, um, and the only thing I can tell you is they are infiltrated um, and possessed. You know, and people don't hmm. want to hear that because they want to think that human beings are the only thing that walks this earth, right? Um, but there is a darkness on this planet that infiltrates people, and it can. I used to see people um, that would abuse me. I would see the evil come and go from them. This this massive black energy would go into them, and and they just you know it stays in this pathological line. That's why I laugh like you know no no okay. end. People say that Trump's a pathological liar. <laughs> I'm like you guys have no idea what a pathological liar is if you think Trump is. Um, right. Because right. I don't even trust some people's name if I didn't know their parents. <laughs> They lie about everything. Uh, But they are infiltrated, and I pray for them, you know, because, again, I think the evil even wants to be released and receive absolution uh, and stop their evil ways because it gets tiring. It gets gets tiring. It gets tiring. Evil is tiring. Um, And, again, it's just torture uh, on their soul. Um, And so I believe that when we find people like that, of course, we do not um, allow them to infiltrate our life and affect our world. Um, because we don't believe anything they say, we can, you know, emotionally detach from them and, and just pray for them. They need our prayers um, so that they can be lifted up out of their darkness. Uh, yeah, that's, is, yeah. 
I often I say all the time, forgive them for they know how what they yes, do. Yes. <laughs> and, if, and even if they do, forgive them anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you have so many people that are just like, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And it's, gonna be, it's so empty, you know. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, I don't believe you're sorry anymore, you know. So just, you know, stay away. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm not, but I pray for you. I will pray for you. Because, yeah, um, they, yeah. Need our, they need our prayer. And so, you know, yeah, there are so many right now. It's just, it's, ir- it's irrational to me. But when you think about uh, historically, again, what this planet has been through and how many times uh, and how many stories do we have where the devil comes down and tries to sway everybody to his way. We've got TV shows and even, you know, Lucifer on television today. I mean, my God. Um, but he's he's so charming and so charismatic and gets you to you know bend to your to your will. I mean, look at Hollywood. All those people there that have signed yeah. the deal with the devil. I mean, come on. They've known about the right. abuse, the you know ritualistic crap that goes on, uh, and they've said nothing until they got caught. And the only reason that things are getting caught now is because we actually have a force. Um, you know, behind it uh, with Trump uh, in the office, because I don't know about you, but thousands of children have been uh, rescued. Oh, I know. It's so ha- oh. I'm so happy about oh, this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yes. I mean, and that is that in itself is breaking the chains um, that have right. been oppressing um, humanity for, for thousands of generations. Correct. Um, so I and am thrilled. And that's the other thing is that, you know, we're here clearing thousands of generations yes. and helping the healing process. So mm-hmm. so I have to remind myself, it's okay. Don't don't be impatient. Yes. <laughs> yeah, God's time. It's God's will. You know, and that's just yeah. it, though. It's like if it's about I'm seeing that's why I'm alive today, to be honest with you, is because I'm seeing this all come to fruition. Uh, fruition. I can't even say it. Fruition. Um, bad with my R's. Again, I couldn't pronounce my R's. Um, I, <laughs> um, but, uh, but I see. I'm seeing it come into pass. Uh, I'm, the legaliza- legalization of drugs. And the oh yeah. Are on drugs and and um, you know the child trafficking and human sacrificing and all this stuff is gonna. Um, I believe stop. I believe the devil's going big to pharma. big gone. pharma. Big oh pharma. God, yes. Yeah, all of them. They're all in cahoots. They're all in cahoots, and they're all owned by uh, just a few people that you know, are Correct. controlled by the satanics. Um. So yeah, uh, this is definitely a time to be alive uh, to see yep. it all come into pass. So have faith, uh, have patience, uh, and know that the more you're healing, you're healing where you, your location, you're healing your past, your present, your future. Um, you will be traveling, so get that stuff done, and then let your ideas flow and see where they take you. Um, because I believe that you know, once you start healing, a lot of that stuff opens up. Um, the pain in the shoulder will lessen. The neck, the <laughs> go get a massage, <laughs> so, maybe some acupuncture. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. No, and enjoy, you know, where you're at, and just take it all in and. No, you're healing though, um, and so you want to you want to remove that, uh, just those dark circles around it. Um, that's what you need to to focus on now. I have some videos on YouTube where you can do the chakra um, cleansing and clearing and grounding and uh, get that to where you only use that for a tool to help you get there. Right? Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you go then. I appreciate so much. Um, oh, I appreciate today. you. Thank you. This yes. was fun. Awesome. Well, good. Well, if you have any questions later, because you know sometimes we get psychic amnesia and, and you forget, you know, you can always message me. And if you have anything follow up or anything to relay. All right. Okay. All right. Have Thank many, you. Many blessings. I appreciate you. You have a blessed day. Yes, you too. Many blessings. Much love. Thank you. I'll yes. Goodbye. <laughs>